We're told that each rectangle is a hole, so this is a hole right over there. That's one hole. And so this is two holes. Which expressions describe the shaded part of the picture? And they've shaded in everything. And they say, choose two answers. So pause this video and see if you can answer that before we work on this together. So before I even look at the choices, there's different ways I could represent this. I've, I've already talked about that if each of these rectangles is a hole, we have two of them. So I could say this is two holes. That's one way to represent it. Another way to represent it is, let's see, each of the holes is divided into two equal sections. So this is a half right over there, and this is another half. This is a half, and this is another half. So total shaded in, we have one, two, three, four halves shaded in. So we could also represent it as four halves. Or instead of writing a half out like that, you could also represent a half like that, one half. That's another one half. That's another one half. That's another one half. And how many of these halves do we have? We have one, two, three, four. So how can we write four halves? Well, you can write it as four over two. So which expressions describe the shaded part of the picture? Well, it's definitely not just one hole. We have two holes here, so I'll rule that one out. Four halves, yep, we already thought about that one. Four halves, yeah, we thought about that one as well. So we're done. 